everyone, this is Elizabeth with Scott Leroy Marketing. In this tip video, I'm going to show you how to create and update your Facebook with a new cover photo from Command. We're starting out in Google Chrome Incognito, and we're at agent.kw.com, which is Command. Enter in your username and password. And press enter or click sign in. Next, we're going to head to designs, which is the icon with the paintbrush in a square. When in doubt, you can click the red square with the white KW to expand the name of the applets. And again, we're going to Designs. This page here is where you'll see all of your current designs that you've already created. So if your screen looks different than mine, don't fret. So first step, click Create Design, the blue button in the top right corner. Click Social. Click Continue. And on the left hand side, you'll see all sorts of different categories that you can click the header to drop down. And what we're going to find is business basics and social branding. So once you find that, click it to open. And you'll see all of the different options for social media covers. And you can narrow that down to Facebook by clicking the gray section at the top. And this will narrow it down to the 10 pieces that Command has for Facebook cover photos. So I'm going to choose this one. The second one, Q3 Performance Facebook cover. So I'll simply click, hover over it and click Use. Once that opens up, I'm going to go ahead and close this little bubble at the bottom by clicking Skip. And really, the only thing that needs to be updated is the logo. So I'm going to click to select. And Command recognizes that that's a logo. And I already have my Market Center logos uploaded. So I'm going to choose my logo and click Replace. In fact, I'm going to use the white one there. And I'm going to click and drag to move it where I want it. And now that that looks good to go, I'll click download, change the file type from PDF to PNG, and click download. And you'll see at the top, center left, you'll see preparing and starting and complete. And since I'm in Google Chrome, I'll see the download in the download tray at the bottom. If you're in Firefox, you'll see downloads appear in the top right. And while that's finishing up, let's open a new tab to go to Facebook. Enter in your email address or phone number and password associated with your account. 
and click login. Now you may and should have two-factor authentication on your account. So if you do so, just authorize your logging in. Of course, that's if you're in an incognito window or different browser. So now that you're logged in, you'll be defaulted to your newsfeed. But I'm going to open my page over on the right hand side. And since it, this is what you're seeing on your end, it's going to kind of cut off the cover photo. All you have to do is scroll up to see more of it. And then click edit. And then upload photo. And it defaults me to my downloads folder, but if you need to go navigate to your file, find it, click it, and click open. And you'll see that pops in pretty quickly. And then you can drag to reposition. That looks good to me. So now that it's all set, I'm going to click Save Changes. If you have any questions about this or anything else, contact us and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.